Now, as many countries hope to reopen their borders to international visitors thanks to the massive international COVID-19 vaccination campaign, China has launched a digital vaccination certificate, which officials say will promote safe and orderly travel. Other countries, especially those in Europe, also plan to adopt such a scheme. Our Kim Hyo-san reports. China has launched a digital COVID-19 vaccine passport to promote cross-border travel for its citizens, joining other countries adopting a similar scheme as they seek to reopen their economies. Beijing's foreign ministry explains the certificate will include details about the holder's COVID-19 vaccination information and test results. During a recent press briefing, Beijing's top diplomat said the system will facilitate safe and orderly travel. We will launch the Chinese version of the electronic traveler health certificate, which will verify nucleic acid test results and vaccination records with proper protection to personal privacy, thus facilitating a safe and orderly flow of personnel. It's left to be seen how effective such a certificate could be, given that experts do not know for sure whether vaccines can completely prevent the spread of COVID-19. There are also notable privacy concerns. Nevertheless, Beijing is open to initiating negotiations with Hong Kong and South Korea to facilitate two-way travel. This comes as many other countries, especially those in Europe, plan to adopt such a scheme. The Netherlands announced Tuesday that it will launch a vaccine passport based on a smartphone app. Speaking to local media, the Dutch health minister said the system will enable people to enjoy travel, eating out, as well as concerts and festivals. Southeast Asian countries, namely Thailand and Vietnam, are also molding a similar system to welcome international travelers from July. While the plans need to be approved, they hope the vaccine certificate can help their tourism sectors recover following an unprecedented contraction due to the pandemic. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News.